But again, it's certainly different. I guess I've just got to move to $60 million, and I just think we've got a few times. Apollo Bay is a small coastal village on Victoria's southwest coast with a permanent population of around 1,200 people. It is regarded by many as paradise by the sea, nestled between wide sandy beaches and the green hills of the Otway Ranges. The township grew out of early pioneering enterprise in whaling, timber cutting and sawmills, farming and fishing. Like many of southwest Victoria's coastal settlements, it was virtually isolated until the Great Ocean Road was built in the 1930s. This opened up the possibility of taking fresh fish to market in Melbourne and the local fishing industry thrived. Tourism also began in earnest around this time. Currently the Apollo Bay fishing industry contributes $6.5 million per annum to the local economy, but the fundamental driver of economic growth is now the tourism industry, with an annual economic input of $120.6 million. The township has always been in transition sometimes at a slower pace than now, but currently it is undergoing a particularly challenging period influenced by the transition from fishing to a tourism-based economy and the character of the township is changing. The impact of tourism on business growth and demand for great opportunities to develop and grow business revenue through township development. The port is one of only three safe blue water harbours in Victoria, west of Port Phillip Bay. The sustainability of the harbour is essential to the local fishing industry with a fleet of 11 vessels and the character of this robust working port is a key factor in the tourism appeal of Apollo Bay. Colac Otway Shire produced a draft master plan for the Harbour Precinct in June 2007 that proved unpopular with local people. To address community concerns and to work towards a redevelopment concept more in keeping with the fishing village character of Apollo Bay, a new process was commenced called Inquiry by Design a five-day process of intense research and consultation with the local community and key government stakeholders. Inquiry by Design is utilised by Chip Kaufman and Wendy Morris of Ecologically Sustainable Design. Inquiry by Design is a relatively new concept in community engagement and this is the first time that it has been applied to a project on Victoria's coast. There is scepticism in the community following a two-year process that has not quite delivered the sea level rise. Everything we feel should be predicated on the sea level rise and what, what is going to happen in the future. Should be a minimal so development. I feel that it's well, very nice the way it is. It's a relaxed harbour. You can get to all parts of it. There's no restrictions. Feel that except it's it. pretty nice as it is. We had the idea of um, maybe a marine museum. That may be a small cafe. So Coffee and a light meal, maybe a bit of fish, something that's caught locally. Yeah. Swim, it's a nice place to swim in the summer without a formalised swimming they pool. I thought once camping starts down there, it'll be a, end up, you know, an all-year type thing. I feel that almost. toilet blocks would be good down there, maybe a couple of them. But people need open space to kick a football and play with their children, you know, all that sort of thing. So. Okay. But not all local people are so pessimistic. Apollo Bay is such a unique and beautiful township. I mean, it's nestled in under the green massive hills that encroach right down towards the ocean and it's got a rugged wildness and a seaside village feel that's quite unique along the uh, Great Ocean Road. Uh, any changes in Apollo Bay try to enhance those unique characteristics. There more needs to be made of the harbour. I think there's a lot of room for improvement, vegetation and uh, landscaping. The aspects of the plan don't sit well with the community and so it's important that uh, we listen and work through all of the different perspectives to try and see if we can uh, come up with a plan that everyone's excited about. But certainly it's my hope that we come out of the weekend with all the different stakeholders feeling a sense of excitement about the redevelopment of the Apollo Bay Harbour and a sense of wanting it to happen. It's that it's also economically feasible and therefore would be something that would attract the necessary public and private investment. Inquiry by Design is not your typical community engagement process where a consultant will visit a place, talk to a few people, do some research and then come back a few months later with a draft design. In Inquiry by Design, it all happens over the five-day period. Now, a commercial harbour has winches and cranes and things that can hurt a kid if he's underneath it or she. And 
The attraction of the other things are leisure, walking around, enjoying the place, having festivals, celebrating, and it might seem that those two are dangerous to each other, and if it's put together wrong, they will be. Components of the new development will showcase the fishing, maritime, and indigenous cultural heritage of the town and respect and enhance the surrounding natural environment. The objectives of the Apollo Bay Inquiry by design were to produce a widely supported revised harbour precinct plan through a process which acknowledges community concerns, is transparent to all stakeholders and respects competing priorities. To optimise environmental, community and economic benefits to the harbour precinct and Apollo Bay now and into the future. Apollo Bay is a harbour without a town. That's extremely rare. And what you're trying to do is get the goodies without the town. So it gives another challenge to the norm because normally the harbor helps the town and the town helps the harbor. But what you're trying to do is to get a really good harbor without much town at all. Have you done profit by risk analysis on the dangers of sticking a hotel and a stupid swimming pool in that harbor? You have it, obviously. I find this whole concept fundamentally flawed. If we have a boutique hotel, this is what the community can get. If you don't want a boutique community, a boutique hotel, this is what the community can get. And if you want other things, this is what you can. And at the end of the day, the community can quite clearly say to council, all right, we don't want the hotel, so therefore we accept we have to forfeit these things. Or, yes, we will now look at the hotel, let's twig it, we can come up with something that's not really what we want, but we'll accept that because we see all these other benefits that come. Be very clear. Apollo Bay. I've had two businesses here. I was born here. And I just think that's fabulous. I think that the, everyone's going on about the hotel. I think you probably need the money from that, don't you, to pay for other things. Also, we have a very seasonal businesses here. Everyone has seasonal jobs. If we can make this town less seasonal, we're going to have a better stable population. We're going to have happier people, they'll have full-time employment, and that's we're all going to help with that. I think people forget about it. The Inquiry by Design team knew they had a job ahead of them. What followed was four days of intensive investigation and discussion with government, community and special interest stakeholders to try to find the things that were most important and to try to fit them all into the master plan for the Harbour Precinct. Some members of the community brought along their own plans. Consultants and community work hand in hand until solutions are found and the final product is agreeable to all stakeholders. One significant stakeholder, Ron Arnold, an elder of the Gadamanut people, brought a set of handwritten notes and had his ideas transformed into the Great Ocean Road Aboriginal Centre. Monday evening the community came back to the youth club to see a final presentation from the Inquiry by Design team. Wendy Morris of ESD presented the final report in a PowerPoint presentation that included four options. The Vexed Hotel. All right, we talked a lot about the lobby before in the in the in principle design. Yeah, Here's the pool one. with its cover, and um, this is the the lobby itself, cascading down, disabled access. Here's the hydrotherapy pool, the 25 metre pool, and uh, out to the harbour beyond. We think that there are a number of things that would enable us to keep the course operational. On hole three, which would be shortened. We're not golf course designers, but we felt that when we looked at how close many of these holes were over here to each other, that if we could get hole nine to be reshaped, maybe by some mounds, that we so needed to get a walking path right round Point Bunbury. Um, this has been nicely landscaped by the people who live in these properties here, but it is public land. Theatre, the idea of an amphitheatre, we think that could work really well there. People said they wanted more grass sitting areas, sheltered areas and so on. A minimum of 60 of these temporary camping that you could get um, peak uh, returns from in, in the summer season and then it would go away. We thought we could add a playground there, a grass parkland area around the memorial. Thanks to you, the community, uh, for your input. Thank you. We've really appreciated it. We felt we've been able to talk to people. We felt you've been open with us. We've been open with you. Thank you very much.
At the end of the meeting, there was an overall air of excitement as Council had addressed every concern raised by the community over the two-year period of consultation and the inquiry by design process. I'm like totally blown away. I think that over the five days, I can't imagine how much work's been done. And in the short term that it's been, it's been occurring, the quality of plans that have come out, I think this, we've got something that the community can uh, embrace and uh, I mean, go forward and, and get a great result for our community. So I think the actual process is a really good process, but not when there is a predetermined um, position to start with. The inquiry by design has just uh, been amazing for me as a, as a resident of 50 odd years in Apollo Bay and a commercial uh, fisherman. Uh, the uh, the uh, in inquiry has certainly satisfied the need of all the uh, people that use the harbour, in my opinion. I believe this has been the best uh, thing I've seen in, uh, in all the years uh, looking after the local people and the business people of Apollo Bay. It's been fantastic to be able to work with the community uh, on the, through this project over the weekend. It's been brilliant the way the community have come. They haven't been uh, backward in coming forward. We still have some way to go, but I think we've come a, a, a huge steps uh, in what uh, can be the future developments and the future prospects and plans for the, uh, the harbour of Apollo Bay. Well, the process has been good. I think it's been good to, you know, you're consulting the community. I think it's been done quite well. You haven't listened about the sea level rise. You're still persisting with a hotel which the community doesn't want. And the community does like the harbour as it is. We're going to push more changes. You're going to have a lot of the community aren't going to be happy. Very um, professional. I thought uh, getting everybody's input and everybody listened to other people and... Um, what we see in front of us has given us a lot to think about. I think it was a good process. I think um, good process. There's a long way to go, though. Yeah. Uh, it's all a bit of a trade-off, really, but uh, it's a long way to go. Chris, can you give us an explanation why twice you stood us up at Nelson Street for interviews prior to the inquiry by design? Yes, I, uh, I did everything I could to avoid being on camera. Um, <laughs> you meant to edit this bit out, Emily. No paparazzi. No paparazzi. They just follow me around. Go away. There's a lot. Think about it, for sure. <laughs> oh, look, I think it went exceptionally well. And not too bad to time either. By the way, what's the Brownlow update? <laughs>